Hello and welcome to Regex in Excel. My name is Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. In this short video, we're gonna take a look at the three new Regex functions in Excel, which are Regex Test, Regex Extract, and Regex Replace. If you're not sure what Regex is, come on, let's talk about it. Exercise one. Regex stands for regular expressions and it's been in programming languages for decades. It helps us identify patterns of text. And recently, Excel has incorporated three new regex functions. The first is regex test, and it's gonna return a true or false value depending on if the pattern we're searching for is found in the cell. So equals regex test. Where's the text we're searching? Here, comma, what's the pattern? Okay, this is gonna be the biggest learning curve. And I'm not an expert regex user, so this video is really an intro, but let's just get warmed up with a simple pattern. So the pattern is gonna be enclosed in quotes. Now if we wanna look for any cells that have a number, what we can do is look for the digits zero through nine. So what we can do is we can create a range, open square bracket, type the beginning value in the range, zero, type a dash, type the last digit in the range, nine, close the range, close the pattern, close the function, Function and enter. So this is saying that I found a number between zero and nine in here. And we're like, hold on, this number 31 is not between zero and nine. What this is doing is it's scanning left to right. And when it finds the three, it's saying, okay, I found the number three is between zero and nine, so I'm returning true. Let's fill this formula down and see if it works. Here, there's no numerical digit, so we get false. That looks correct. Here, there is a number, we get true, that's correct. Here there's no number and we get false and that's correct. Regex also has shorthands. So for example, we could do a slash D and that's the shorthand for numerical digits. Now it's time to look at the next function. Exercise two, the next function is regex extract and it extracts the pattern from the cell. For example, let's say I wanted to get the name. Well, if I didn't wanna write formulas, I could always use flash fill. To use flash fill, I would just give it a sample. For example, Schultz comma Maria. And then I can just go to the data tab and click the flash fill button and it will pull those values out. And if this was a one-time project, I'd probably just go with flash fill. But if this is something that we're updated on a recurring basis, we may want to use a formula approach instead because next period, when there are more rows, the formulas will fill down and it just removes a manual step. So before regex, Pulling things like the name or the street number or the zip would require a lot of nested text functions like left, right, mid, length, find, things like that. But now we can use a regex pattern. Equals regex extract. Here's the text, comma. The pattern is, well, just like we had a backslash D for numerical digits, we also have slash W for word characters. And then plus means any number of those characters. And then it needs to have a comma, and then it needs to have a space, and then I want another series of word characters. Close down that pattern, close the function, hit enter. And now I can fill this down. And that's how I might set up a formula to do this extraction. What if I wanted the street number? Well, if I was using flash fill, I could just go 50488 and I could just flash fill it down. But what if I wanted to use a formula approach instead? Equals regex extract. Here's the text. What's the pattern? Okay, the pattern is gonna be any number of numerical digits, close function and enter. And now we can fill it down. So how come it's not returning the street number and the zip? It's because it goes through left to right and once it's done with those numbers of digits, then it returns the result. So how do we get the zip code? Well, for that we can use an anchor which says get the values from the end. Here's what that looks like. Equals regex extract. Here's the text comma, what's the pattern? The pattern is any number of digits, but those digits have to come from the end of the string. So we can use a dollar sign, close the pattern and enter. And now we can fill that down. Now, by the way, if we technically didn't want any number of digits, we could specify the exact number of digits. Instead of using a plus, we can use a curly brace with a five and that's gonna say there has to be five digits in a row, enter. And now I can fill this down. Okay, and what about the state? Well, for the state, we're gonna want capital letters. So what we're gonna do is go with equals regex extract. Here's the text, comma. The pattern is a range from capital A to capital Z and a repeat of twice. Close the pattern, 
close the function and enter. And now we can fill that down. And I've literally just scratched the surface of regex patterns. This is a very comprehensive system. So this is definitely just an intro. Let's go to the next exercise, exercise three. The third function is regex replace. And that's where we're able to replace a matching pattern with text of our choice equals regex replace. Here's the text, comma. The pattern is gonna be a series of digits followed by a dash, followed by another series of digits, followed by a dash, followed by another series of digits. Close that pattern and then do a comma. Now what do we want to replace that with? Well, we're gonna go with four stars, a dash, four stars, a dash, and four stars. Close the replacement argument, close the function and enter. And now we can fill this down. As you can see, these regex functions open up a lot of possibilities. And what's really cool is this type of logic is expected to come into XLOOKUP as well. So imagine doing an XLOOKUP based on a regex pattern. That definitely opens up a lot of new possibilities. So this video is really an intro, but just know there's tons of additional resources to get additional help. For example, there's tons of websites that talk more about regex, and in fact, ChatGPT can help. So I hope this intro to regex and regex in Excel is helpful. Thanks for joining me, have a great day. Hey Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University.